Ready to buy some camp and shit? Uh, let's hustle to the store so we can finally chill for a bit. It's already way too hot out. We're in charge of picking up the barbecue, right? Go ahead and lead the way, Ryuji. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know where it is. Oh, right, we can just ask the app. Hey, uh, Emma? Hello, do you need something? Yeah, uh, show us that store you told us about. Displaying the optimal route to your destination. Whoa, look at this sweet map. We can even figure out how to help with a big question like that? Oh, this thing's a whole lot more useful than I thought. Great! Let's get this over with so we can plan tomorrow's feast. <laughs> What's all the racket? I have a suggested event for you. A promotional store opening is currently underway at the Shibuya 705 storefront with Alice Aragi. Huh? What the hell's a suggested event? Wait, for real? Alice is here? Alice Hiragi is a Japanese fashion model and performing artist. She has gained attention with her adorable look and unique sense of style. She is active in a variety of media and genres. She has become a pop culture tastemaker and continues to amass a devoted young fan base. Wow, Emma makes her sound huge. Is she really all that popular? Well, I don't know. What kind of answer is that crowd giving you, huh? Alice really is just over there. Oh, I can't believe it. Someone sounds interested. It's on our way into the store. Why not check it out? She's totally cute enough for this to be worth it. Hey, hey, what's going on? Heard it's some shop opening ceremony. Wait, isn't that Alice? Alice Hiraki? Hi, folks. Thanks for coming. A shop that carries one of my very own brands is opening here, today! Have you ever dreamed that you could be somebody else, even if just for a little while? Well, I know a place where that dream comes to life. A wonderland where you become whatever you want to be. Now, I've got one question. Does anyone want to visit this wonderland with me? Then I have a surprise for you. I'm giving away 100 invitation cards as a special present. They're magical cards that will make you have an even better time in Wonderland. Enjoy! <laughs> Here you go! Oh, oh my god, thank you so much! Just touch my hand. Oh, those are some quality specs. <laughs> Sorry, that was weird. I hope you like the star. Let the white rabbit guide you to Wonderland. Have fun there, everyone. <laughs> What was with that crowd? Man, I can't believe I saw Alice. She was just as cute as I thought she'd be. Right? Oh, she just has this vibe. Well, she's all yours. My heart still belongs to Lady On alone. Yeah, yeah, we get it. Well, are you satisfied now? Let's hurry up with the shopping. Fine. Oh, yeah, you got one of those cards from Alice, right? <laughs> yeah, he did. You just got blown off. Can it? There were just a ton of people around us all. Alice Hiragi's Wonderland? This looks like a boring old ad to me. Hmm? There's some fine print here. Here's my Emma keyword. 
Please become my friend. What's a keyword? Didn't Futaba use something like that yesterday? She said we could become friends through Emma. Yeah, do it! Come on! So, you input the keyword, then you become friends with Alice? You said it's on the card, right? What was it again? Uh, Wonderland? Keyword successfully entered. Beginning navigation. Feels like, whoa, what happened to you guys? Not just me, you changed too. Whoa, for real? Huh? Huh? <sighs> Looks like this place is connected to the metaverse. This is a joke, right? Whoa, check it out. Look, aren't those the guys we saw at 705? Hey everyone, you love me, don't you? Uh -huh. Oh, yeah? Then you can give me all your desires. <laughs> Whoa! What the hell was that? There's no time. We'll figure it out later. Joker? Go, let's fight our way out. Damn it! Ah, fine, let's do this. We'll take all of you on. Stay sharp, you two. We haven't fought in some time. Just warm up a bit for starters. It'll come back to you soon enough. Let's get in there, talking. Stop this. Damn! That's what I like. So We should get in there, too. Is this place? Oh, I think this could be Alice's palace. A palace? I thought those were done for, though. I mean, we don't even have the meta nav on our phones anymore. I don't know what's going on, but I don't think anything else could explain this. You saw Alice on that screen just like I did. No matter how you look at it, that was her shadow. We just happened to wander into Alice's palace using Emma. That would be the most logical explanation. Damn it! Whatever it is doesn't change the fact that we're in deep shit. Mm, we need more intel. Let's investigate the area. If this really is a palace, the distortion has to have a core somewhere. We need to find the treasure. Oh, even getting a faint whiff of it. If we look around, we may be able to learn what's going on too. We'll get a better idea of what to do next, depending on what we find. <sighs> Guess we're doing this.
little guys. Your Majesty, we captured these thieves, but we couldn't seize their desires. We have instead brought them to you. <laughs> couldn't seize their desires? Explain yourselves. Hmm. You look pretty cool. So, what's your name? Joker, huh? Come now, Joker. You need to answer properly when your queen asks a question. Quit it, asshole! Ugh, would you shut your mouth? Or are you looking for punishment, too? What? Shit! Just try it! Ugh, what a bore. I just stopped caring. Get rid of them, however. I don't want toys that don't do as they're told. Bye-bye! Out? Don't be too late coming back. Hmm, boss, this curry is fantastic. Oh, thanks. So this is going out live, huh? Even I'm starting to get a little nervous. You still good? Hey, stay in the bag. If they find out we brought a pet in here, they'll kick us out. A pet? Oh, well, I guess if I can't be seen, you two do your best to blend in too. We're fine. All we're gonna do is watch. Should I also make efforts to blend in? Yeah, just hang tight for a bit, Sophia. No problem. Oh, here she comes. Miss Alice on the set! <laughs> Holy crap! Oh, she really is adorable! Riding back from commercial! Back in five, four, three! And now, on to the hottest meet and greet segment of the show. We have a special guest with us today. She has taken the fashion world by storm and conquered it. Please welcome the designer, Alice Hiragi. Uh, thanks for having me. <laughs> Thank you for joining us, Alice. You sure have been keeping busy these days, haven't you? It's only thanks to all my fans that I've been able to do what I do. And what a number of fans you have. Talk about strong support. Am I wrong to presume that you designed the outfit you're wearing today? It's just so cute. Very expressive. <laughs> Thank you so much! The theme of my current line is Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> I feel like fashion is a rare and beautiful thing that can take anyone into a world built on their dreams. You can find a side to yourself that maybe you didn't even know you had. Fashion can do so much for us. I try my hardest to focus on that whenever I design a new piece. Such wise words from a successful industry veteran. What inspiration originally spurred you into fashion design, if you don't mind? <laughs> to be honest, I was very shy growing up. I didn't have any friends at school. I would get so lonely. I wanted to change so much, but I just couldn't figure out how to do it. Then, one day, I saw the most beautiful dress in a shop window. When I put it on, the whole world felt new. It was like I was hit with this blinding ray of light. I really can change. That's what wearing it made me think. I strive each day to give that same feeling to every person who tries on one of my designs. I want to give that ray of light to others. That's what inspired me to enter the fashion industry. Really? Huh. <laughs> now I can see why the young people love you so much. How do you handle all the dating... rumors? Uh, 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 what? Uh, 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 oh. 
What's going on? I don't get it. Is this some kind of scripted thing? I wonder what's wrong. <laughs> Are you okay? Uh, Alice. I... <gasps> I love you, Alice. Please, spend your life with me. What? <laughs> uh, hey, what is all this, huh? I didn't realize until now. I love you. Uh, this is really out of the blue. All right, stop it. <laughs> yeah, this bit's going on a little too long. I mean it. I can't live without you. What? What in the hell? And what about me, asshole? Is this real? Those two are engaged already, right? Wow, what a train wreck. I can't believe this. Cut the commercial! Now! I'm begging you. Alice, please! Just shut up already! What has happened to you? What is this mess? Actually live on TV, right? Ooh, can't believe he spilled his beans like that. Even I thought he went overboard with it. So, then do you think that host had his desire taken by Alice? Well, Alice may be cute, but that was still way too bizarre of him. True. He didn't seem like he was in his right frame of mind. Like he wasn't even there and someone else was controlling him. Morgana, that's it! I don't know if all this is right, but his personality changed like when someone's heart was stolen. After the treasure? Maybe Alice can control anyone whose desire she steals. If the desire is turned over to the ruler, they wind up under their control. Like with Alice. I see. That would really explain it. Amazing as always, Lady On. But that would mean... Yeah, looks like it. <laughs> Alice said she wants to be a ray of light for people. That's what I've always wanted, too. I read about her in a magazine once, and... I just really felt where she was coming from. It's why I asked to come to the show in the first place. I wanted to see her in person. But now... I wonder if that was all just... Lady on. <laughs> Man, that was great! That was... Alice? Quick, hide! Miss Alice, this is a public hall. Please, you must keep your voice down. Eh, it's fine. See? No one in sight. <laughs> anyway, though, did you see that lady's face? She totally lost it up there. All those cushy, talking head types make the best faces when things finally stop going their way. Miss Alice, do you think you could stop doing these things? Huh? What do you mean? I was the victim on stage. <laughs> What is it that you want me to stop doing? I... I don't know how you're doing it, or why, but after seeing that, there has to be something. You... Oh! So you want me to punish you again? Ah, please! I'm sorry! Oh, oops! <laughs> what a terrible accident! Just like what happened on set, a terrible accident. I'm still upset over it too, you know. Isn't it your job to take my side? Or are you asking to end up broken like my last manager? Do you want to get stuck up in your room like he is? Ugh. Well, it doesn't matter anyway. I don't want toys that don't do as they're told. Stop! Then beg me to forgive you until it hurts as much as you hurt me with your words. Why don't you do what you did yesterday? Grovel with your face all messed up with snot. I'll take another video if you like. Come on, beg. Do it! Do it! 
I'm not gonna stop until you do, got it? <sighs> hey, the guy sounds like he's in real pain. If she doesn't cut it out... Hey, stop! Too far. You said you wanted to be a ray of light for people. How the hell does that help? Uh. Oh, <laughs> we were just playing around, weren't we? Yeah. So you'll go get the car now? Oh, hey, wait! Hang on. Uh, are you on Takamaki? Uh, you know who I am? Yeah! I know all the models. I read every fashion magazine the day it comes out. Actually, I really admire you. Would you like to be friends? <laughs> you obviously got Emma, right? <laughs> My keyword is... Don't bother. I'd never accept someone who treats another person like that. Aw, too bad. But I do appreciate honesty. So, how about you? Would you like to be friends? Like I said, we were just playing around. Hey, hang on. You were at 705 the other day, weren't you? We're done here. Let's go. That's a bummer, but I know I gave him one of my cards. Why doesn't he obey? And then I stormed out and we came back here. Sorry about that, by the way. I was just so upset. No apology needed. You did a fantastic job finding out about Alice. Yeah, it's all thanks to you, Lady Anne. Once Lady Anne had her on the ropes, she whipped out her phone and tried adding them all on Emma right away. From what we saw, she might know that she can use Emma to lure people into her jail. She gets them into her jail, then takes their desires so they'll do what she says. I suspect she's been doing this for a while now. I see. That does explain things. But what is her end goal? I can't imagine such awful behavior actually doing her any good. Is it the same as with Kamoshira? That's a good point. She seemed to be having a blast being such an awful person. Whatever it is, she has the gall to set up that kind of tragedy on live TV. She isn't in her right mind anymore. The longer we leave this be, the more victims that pile up. And it's already gotten to be quite a pile. Now's the time to act. But just how should we act? Is there a treasure in her jail? That's the tricky part. I am picking up a faint scent of something treasure-like, but... What is a treasure? It's the condensed core of a ruler's desires. That's what gives birth to a palace and powers it. Usually, we just take the treasure to trigger a change of heart in our target. Hmm, that's interesting. What if there is no treasure there? We can't change Alice's heart. For now, let's focus on tracking the treasure-like scent Morgana mentioned. That should at least put us on the trail for clues. Question. Why must we change Alice's heart? Why? Because she's hurting people. So Alice only needs to be stopped. Changing her heart is unnecessary. No. Beating her shadow won't help. Worst case scenario, it could wind up causing her to die in the real world. Death. That is an acceptable outcome. Dude, that's... I'm humanity's companion. I'm supposed to determine the best choices for humanity. Alice Hiraki makes people suffer every day. We should ensure she stops this as soon as possible. Why not do so? I do not understand. I want to understand, but I cannot. Where is the flaw in my logic? I do see where you're coming from, Sophia. Alice is doing horrible things. We could just help all those people without caring what happens to her. The metaverse is serious. You can end a life without ever being endangered. Even still, we always choose to change someone's heart instead of harming them. 
It's part of the Phantom Thieves Code. That's right. Kind of pointless if we gotta stoop to the bad guy's level to take him down. We never kill. We steal the desires of the wicked and make them change their ways. Mm-hmm. That's why we're the Phantom Thieves of Hearts. Phantom Thieves of Hearts. I've got it. Hearts. I lack a heart. That's why I don't understand the logic of the Phantom Thieves. If only I could understand how hearts work. If I did that, I could become an even better companion. Sophia? I've got it. I will join the Phantom Thieves. I need to learn more about hearts so I can become an even better companion. May I join the Phantom Thieves? If I do so, I am certain I will witness many things about the human heart. I need to learn more about the heart and about the Phantom Thieves. Why not? I'm sure she'll be a great help to us. Yep. <laughs> Sounds like we've got a new member. Thank you. Thank you for joining, Sophia. Welcome to the Phantom Thieves. Glad to have you with us. Let's pick our code name next. Ooh, now the nostalgia's flowing. It's basically her name. I like it. You do? I want to be Sophie. Then you'll be Sophia in this world and Sophie in the metaverse. Radical, dude. <laughs> Jeez, you're already more human-like than when we first met you. I am constantly learning things, thanks to the internet. I'm learning more words as I speak. Don't pick up any off-putting lingo, okay? Okay, so we got a new member. Come up with her first mission. Good. This feels like our duty, considering we became phantom thieves to help anyone suffering. I was one of those people once. We may not know the victims personally, but it would reflect on us poorly as phantom thieves to not lend a helping hand. As long as there are people in trouble out there, we won't turn our backs on them. You're right. We are going to be the ray of light for everyone. That even includes Alice. I have registered myself as a phantom thief. All right, the phantom thieves are back in action. Our next step is to make the proper preparations. It's a fact that provision is prevention. We'll all need weapons and other supplies. Since you're the guy with all the connections, we'll leave the shop into you like always. We'll get ourselves ready. Once you are too, just hit us up. Hey. Tower itself is all that's left. Flip those seats up. One, two, one, two. Oh yeah, made it! All right, let's check out that light. So that was the searchlight's power source? Is that a dress? It is rather cute. I've seen this before. It's a dress in Alice's lineup. I recognize it from a fashion magazine. That dress made the searchlights move? That doesn't make any sense. Well, we're in the cognitive world. Maybe it holds some sort of power here? It doesn't seem to be, but I don't think that description's too far off. Maybe it's more of a representation of a monarch's power. One could say that Alice's brand is, in essence, what allowed her to become what she is today. Proof of her dominance here. This core must be the power source for the jail's equipment. Well, now that we have it, the searchlights should be off, right? Uh, looks like two of them are still up and running. They've got their own cores powering them. The first one is east of here. Real-world location-wise, I'd say around Mia Mai Park. What a pain in the ass. Well, let's get it over with. I 
wonder if the other cores are in jail cell covered towers like this one. Some form of shorthand reference would be more convenient. How does incarceration zone sound? These places are for protecting the jail's power sources, so... How about prison keeps? You've used up a lot of stamina. I'd say now's the time to call it. Cora's Alice on a book? She made the cover of Un Un? That's a really famous magazine. A widely recognized symbol of power. Mona's theory is being proven with each turn. She would have been famous even if she hadn't started doing all this. Enter. Then what reason did she have? Does she even have one at all? Whatever the case, the next four is the last one. It's just a bit west of here. Over by Boon Kamachi. Kamachi? That's quite the cultural hotspot. Returning to Shibuya Crossing and using Central Street would probably be the quickest. Skill! Yes! Mission complete! So the last core is... a CD? Oh! I recognize that album! Its songs are in a lot of commercials nowadays. Alice's biggest album. The one that's been at the top of the charts for weeks now. So, does that mean it's a scam? Did she only blow up because she changed so many hearts? <laughs> that should be the last of the jail's power sources. Correct. The searchlights should be deactivated now. Finally, we can enter Alice's castle. Shall we? Yes. We need to stop her as soon as possible. Let's return to the crossing so we can head to the castle. out there it better be good well the group we dumped underground have returned those boys from the other day <laughs> come to get back at me huh i can't seize their desires they're useless to me but really couldn't you handle something so simple on your own our deepest apologies <sighs> you are all useless Get it done, or I'm getting rid of you. Well, anything to say? We'll take care of it. Great, I can't wait. Hmm. <laughs> You're a real surprise, Joker. Now I'm starting to want you all to myself. Look at their numbers. Damn it, what is this? We can't reach the castle! No, oh, we just finished up the searchlights, too. I guess we did wreak some real havoc here. Looks like we've finally gotten Alice's full attention. Oracle, any guidance for us? Ah, uh, this is a real toughie. I'm not seeing any alternate paths right now. Staying here will only get us surrounded. Joker, what's your call? no other choice. Let's get back to reality and figure out our next step there. Yeah, but the same as what we saw the other day. Desires here, right? So those jewels are the desires? They looked like they got sucked up into that light. There's no question. That treasure like shimmering up there? That's the desire. That is? We did hear Alice was collecting them. 
But that was a pile of gems. How come they turned into that shimmery thing? This is just speculation, but... Maybe that up there is the original form of a desire? After all, people's desires don't naturally have a single concrete form. Because we all find our own desires precious. That could be why they look like gems here. When the people had their desires seized by the shadows, they consciously felt them being taken, so the desires took form then. But what turned them back into light? Their desires are still stolen. Maybe Alice is considered their owner now that they're in her birdcage here. Alice doesn't seem to believe they can be stolen back. That's why they turned back into their base form. It does seem to follow logically. At any rate, if we reclaim the desires and release them from this cage, the people may well return to normal. Yeah, it's definitely worth a try. One moment. How does one steal light? Yep. With a calling card. A calling card? What is that? It's how we make that shimmery light take material form. If we make the owner aware that someone is after their treasure, it takes form. Desires should work the same way. To do it, we send a calling card to our target that says we're going to steal whatever is most precious to them. I got it. I think. Are we sure it'll work, though? This isn't a palace with a treasure. Nothing is obtained without action. We must at least try first. For now, let's focus on securing our infiltration route. Hell yeah! I'm getting there first! Are you okay? What was that? I swear Skull ran into some kind of jail cell door. Is there another barrier? Am I hearing something? Sophie, wait! Go away. What do you think you're doing looking at the guys like that? She is like such a waste of space, you know? Totally. She's such a loser. It hurts to look at her. <laughs> no. I just... How was that? You heard it too? A memory hidden by the monarch. Sophie, are you alright? No problem here. However, I did figure something out. That memory we heard is the key to the barrier. How's that? This cage is currently locked. You're right. What's that doing there? It will require a key, which we will find in the room those voices came from. It will be some sort of secret room, but we can't find this room here. We need to return to reality for that. Reality? Why is that? The room has been completely isolated. Its entrance exists only in the real world. How'd you know all that? One of your programs or something? I do not know. I merely sense it. Maybe the lock on this cage is somehow linked to a lock in Alice's heart. Mona-chan? If Sophie's right, what we heard just now is a memory of the monarch. That means it's extremely important to her. I have a feeling that memory's acting as the lock on her heart, keeping us from getting past that door. So the lock's an important memory. It's only natural that the key to this place would be hidden somewhere that no one would find. That logic is indeed sound, but how is it possible? This is all just speculation so far. I've never seen anything like this either. This could be another difference between the palaces and this jail. We can't reach the secret room in this world, you said? Correct. We must find the location in reality instead. And that would be... I was not able to detect it. But it should be related to those voices somehow, right? Hmm. I could be wrong, but didn't it sound like someone was getting bullied? Looking at guys like that. Maybe school age? That could be. Brilliant deduction, Panther. I'm just no stranger to hearing that kind of stuff, is all. Panther... If she's right, does that mean the key we need is somewhere in Alice's old school? That would be logical. Alright, let's go do some investigating back in the real world next. We're gonna need a calling card, too. Looks like we've got our work cut out for us.
In other news, Akira Konoe, founder of Medis, announced a joint project with one-time rival company, Pineapple. Tech heads are fired up with anticipation at the news, awaiting further details with... Okay, folks, listen up! Good evening. Been a while, huh? Perhaps you remember us. We are the Phantom Thieves. And we're back in action with a new heart in our sights. A wicked witch who treats people like toys. Alice Hiragi. You pretend you're a ray of light, but all you do is hurt people to indulge your own darkness. You're a bad person, and bad people have to be stopped. And all those desires you stole. Tonight, we're taking them all back. Shot to the bird cage of desire. procedures wouldn't work. Alright, Skull. Get to home. Uh, no. Look at the size of that thing. Well, what do we do now? How do you steal something like that? I admit, I don't know either. What's that? It's her! Alice. So, it's a fight after all. Those desires. Hey, you! Joker, right? Did you come back to me so you could be mine? Oh, what a grown! You should try being nicer to girls. Alice Hiragi! We know all about the horrible things you've done. 
You seized people's desires by force and turned them into your puppets. You toyed with people's emotions and made them mistreat one another. You even opened up stores so you could bilk all the people you brainwashed. We can no longer overlook the wicked changes of heart you forced on the people. The Phantom Thieves are about to beat the distortion out of you. The Kamaki san you're so beautiful. There's no way you could understand. You have no clue what I've been through. You mean what happened to you at Shujin? Uh, where did... How? We know all of it. How you were bullied. How it was torture for you. But I still... Oh, okay. You found out. No matter how much I hide it, the past still comes back to me. How pathetic. What a mess. That doesn't matter now. With this power, I can have everything. Everything I've always wanted. Mine! And now, I'm gonna make you mine! All mine! Alice in Wonderland. Oh my! I'm late for a very important date! Come along, come along! I have such wonders to show you! What wonders? Ignore her, Sophie. She just wants to torture us or something. Alice, I'm gonna make you see the light! Aww, you feel good! <laughs> you <laughs> like best of us! <laughs> Any of you have to be taken?
is this? Go ahead. The party popper. You have your chance when Alice goes for the pole. That's when you blast her. Raining confetti upon the stage. That would be quite pleasing, aesthetically. Get ready! 
you want, Alice? Don't be stupid. I remember the real answer. Yes. Persona! You have to remember too, Alice! Just Tell me, Tank, what do you really want? I... I'll use this. Sorry. Yeah, here I go! going, you'll just make yourself feel even worse. How would you know? <sighs> I just can't compare to someone like you, Takamaki-san. All my life, I'm no match for the real winners. <sighs> and I tried so hard to change, but I was still made fun of, still bullied. I just wanted to stop being miserable. I poured my heart into fashion and worked to get so far. But then, she showed up again and started running her mouth about my past. She told everyone what a pathetic little shit I was. <sighs> That's why I took all of it from her. Her boyfriend, her social circle, everything. And that still wasn't enough for me. It wasn't just her. Everyone that talked behind my back, all the people who just stood there when I was kidding, I'll destroy every single one of them! Alice... So 
This is a wound in a heart. Oh, this power lets me get revenge. I... You became the bully, right? You idiot! What good does that do? Now you're just as bad as the people who made you suffer. Is that how you want to live? Like one of those bullies? Didn't you want to be something else? A ray of light for others. And for yourself. <sighs> turn it around. I've been through a lot of the same things, but thanks to my best friend and the Phantom Thieves, I was able to stand up for myself and do the right thing. You're never alone. Once you're back to your real self, let's be friends, okay? You wanna be... really? Uh-huh. I mean, I totally love Alice. <laughs> we even share the same dream. <sighs> Thank you. <sighs> I'll go back now, where I belong. But this time, I'm gonna be... Was effing amazing! Did we just witness the desires returning to their rightful owners? Yeah, that's what it looked like to me. Everyone who got a desire disappeared afterward. I hope that means their real life counterparts are returning to normal. Yes, you're right. Wait, what the? What is it, Monachan? Something's wrong. It's not collapsing, but the giant desire blew up, like... No, just look around. Now that you mention it... Whenever we stole a treasure, we'd have to leave the metaverse entirely, right? Yeah, we always had to haul ass out of there. That is most assuredly not happening now. If anything, it's grown eerily quiet. So if the monarch is toppled and the desires are all returned, the jail still doesn't collapse? It would appear that palaces are different from this jail, after all. There's a chance we haven't actually resolved the issue yet. I wonder how Alice will react to this. Could we find out when we get back to the real world? It'd be nice if she could recall what happened here, but no one shares memories with their shadows. Think she might talk to Panther? Huh? Me? Yeah, yeah! You two could really hit it off! She did say that she loves her. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it was worth going that far for her to come to her senses. <laughs> Alice really is a one-of-a-kind talent. And her dream is definitely something worth fighting for. 
I just hope she can remember how that dream first made her feel. So she can bring that feeling to the people who need it. I don't know if there's anything I can do to help her, but I at least want to be there for her. Fascinating. What's up, Sophie? Just as the Phantom Thieves predicted, Alice Hiragi appeared to change her logic. This would not be possible had we simply defeated her. How did you predict the outcome? We didn't really predict it. Being able to change is what makes someone human. Someone is human because they can change. The human heart is much more complicated than expected, isn't it? Just when you think you've grown beyond your pain, the smallest thing can bring you all the way back down again. The human heart is indeed difficult to comprehend. It's filled with mysteries. Well, you're pretty high up there on the mystery charts yourself, Sophie, my dear. No, I'm... Sophie, humanity's companion, right? We get it. You got it, Skull. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Not bad, Skull. Do you really get it? <laughs> well, what do you say we head back now? I'd like to check on the real world, Alice. Yeah, <laughs> let's get going. Shadow Alice earlier. By the end, though, she appeared happy. Why is that? Wasn't she angry at Alice? Okay. Anger is not just for hurting people. It is also able to save people. If someone is in the wrong, anger can be used to show them the error of their ways. The human heart is such a mystery. But thanks to you, I've gained valuable experience. Thank you. I hope to learn more from you. And now for the hottest meet and greet. Alice Hiragi has returned as our special guest. Miss Alice, thank you so much for coming on today, despite the last visit's conclusion. From what I hear, there's something you wish to share? Yes, I need to confess something. The incident that occurred with the previous hosts, that was all my fault. I forced him to proclaim his love for me during a live broadcast. When I heard he was engaged to his co-host, I just wanted to ruin their relationship. <laughs> Miss Alice. And they're not the only ones. Anytime I see a happy woman, I just get so jealous. I do whatever it takes to ruin their lives. Uh, um, is this... is this a prank or something? All of my past managers tried so hard to stop me. But then I'd lash out at them too, and... And I'd assault them until they back down. The only reason I've changed managers is because my last one had a total breakdown. Wait, are you... is this real? Everything I've said here is the truth. I'm sure all of it is easy enough to prove now. I've lied and I've... it hurt so many people. And I'm just so sorry for it all. Is this... the, the Phantom Thieves? I'm the one who did it all. No one but me did these horrible things. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Cut! Cut! Right now! Come to standby! 